Hey everyone, Thomas here. Great you could join me. I've got a story to tell you all about Diesel. We all know what Diesel's like, bumping and bashing into everyone. Well, it all started when he decided to bump really hard into Daisy. Oh, what did you do that for? Daisy wasn't feeling right after Diesel had bumped her. Then something terrible happened. Nice things! Poor Daisy. This has never happened before. But Daisy was really brave, and she made it to the next station. That's it! Everybody off! Then later, I bumped into Diesel. Hey! Or rather, he bumped into me. Then, we saw Judy and Jerome taking Daisy to the Diesel Works. Poor Daisy! I wonder what happened to her. How should I know? <coughs> Later, there was more bad news for Daisy. Although the workmen tried really hard, they just didn't know how to fix her. Soon, everyone had heard about Daisy. And there was even a rumor she might have to be scrapped. Hey, Diesel. Have you heard about Daisy? She may have swerved her last. Why are you telling me? Everywhere Diesel went, engines were talking about Daisy. And that made Diesel cross. Just because I give Daisy a little bump, everyone blames me. Typical. But deep down, he felt really bad about Daisy. Are you asleep, Daisy? I... I'm sorry for shunting into you the way I did, Daisy. I really didn't mean to cause you any trouble. But I'll tell you a secret. Daisy wasn't really asleep. She heard everything Diesel said. Wake up, everyone! Wake up! <laughs> Next day, Percy arrived with a special delivery. New springs! And soon, Daisy was as good as new. Maybe even better than before. Daisy told Diesel she wanted to be friends. But nobody liked to be bumped. If you want to make friends, Diesel, you need to change your ways. And guess what? The next time Diesel met Daisy, he was very nice and didn't bump into her. I've changed my ways. fantastic. So maybe Diesel has changed his ways. We'll make some new friends. I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>